Mic, take one. I'm going to show you why that's important in a second. After I did the video on how to like self tapes and the way you present yourself, it came to my mind about when I said about audio and about sound, and I've never really gone over how um, microphones you should be using. I'm going to show you two that are not really suitable, but it'll give you an explanation of what I do with with audio. Okay, so I'm going to start with. Oh, this is a shotgun microphone, okay? And you'll see these when you're on set, and they always have them on a, uh, either in a in a blimp, or and they're all suspended above you like that. Now, the reason for that is, these microphones are really designed to be used outdoors rather than indoors. However, you can use them indoors as well. Not I do on occasion, and they have these um, like slashes down the side, these, these cuts down the side, and what that does is, it helps reflect sound waves coming in from the side so it's called what they call off off axis rejection so basically it rejects the sound that comes in from the from the side so when you're say in london filming and you see the reporters holding the microphone like that and you see a car going the the background the fact is that that this is rejecting the best part of the sound of that and it's only picking up from the directed um point of the of the microphone okay so these aren't cheap. This one is a Sennhauser and it's about 700 quid for that one. Okay, so this is not the sort of mic that I would suggest you use to do your um, self tapes with. Okay, okay. This is a small diaphragm condenser microphone and you've probably seen these used when you're working inside and you're filming a shot that's that's in a, it's in a room. Um, the reason you don't use the other microphones, the um, shotgun microphones is because they can get what they call phasing in other words a sound like a, a like a slightly echoey room um that can rebounce off the walls and then be picked up on the microphone and give like an echo effect which isn't desirable these microphones tend not to do that they don't do it as, as bad um this really isn't an expensive um uh, small diaphragm condenser um you, you would use them normally for things like uh, recording guitars and drums and things like that however they're really good for using for indoor like dialogue okay right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go over to the computer and show you what i think may be suitable for you to do your self tapes with okay i just want to go through three microphones that might be suitable for you and if you've got a digital slr camera you can use this microphone here this is a rode video mic pro it basically sits on top of your camera and then plugs into the microphone socket of the camera it is quite expensive 132 pounds uh, this is on Amazon these all these three that I'm going to show you are on Amazon so that's that's one option perhaps not the best now I'm going to come to the one at the last that I think is really really good and be really helpful um, to you so I look at the next one the next one is the Tascam DR10 and this is basically a lavalier mic or a radio radio style mic um, plugged into a little recorder as you can see this is the microphone just here and then you've got the recorder just here now this is a really good system because you can actually hide the microphone you don't have to have it showing when you're wearing it um, the only thing is if you're filming on a mobile phone you then need to sync the audio up to the phone afterwards and that's where you have the clap because you have to then synchronize those two clapping parts together okay that was the next one but i think perhaps the one that would suit people the best is this one it's the rode smart lav uh, lavalier and basically what this does is it goes into any smartphone and acts as a microphone to record so basically you'd film on one mobile phone and you do the audio on the microphone for through the microphone into the other mobile phone that you're carrying with you so it gives a really good nice sound to it it's actually really perfect for this type of the type of thing that you would be looking to do and it's actually only 49 pounds now i know these things are expensive but i just wanted to show you the options you have of improving your self tapes and i know a lot of my friends who are like wedding videographers they use these road mics and they've got loads of like old smartphones and they record onto them when the bride and groom are standing there that's how you get the, the, the good sound quality so in my opinion out of the, the three of them this would be the best one to get but there are other things you can think about as well 
make sure you're not in a room that's got a lot of echo so i'd avoid um like rooms with uh, tiled floors or rooms that have got wooden floors because they tend to they don't absorb the sound they tend to bounce it back and echo whereas you're on a carpet you don't get that so that would be the other thing to try if you didn't have or didn't need need or want to get something like this okay i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one so i thought i'd do a little addition to this video and explain why I clapped at the start because I record my audio separately from my video I have to synchronize them and this is Premiere Pro which I use I also use um, DaVinci Resolve as well but I I'm using this Premiere at the moment a bit more so what I've got here I've got the recording from the capture of Amazon I've got the video footage and I've got the audio footage from the, from the microphone. So I'm gonna put the video onto the timeline and we'll just stretch that out a bit so you can have a look. Okay. And you can see here there's a spike. So now what I have to do is I now have to drop this on as well. And this is the audio track and you can see a spike there as well. The idea is, is to match those two up. Now you can actually do that by moving them along the timeline uh, until they actually till they actually synchronize okay but I'm not going to do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it to synchronize by itself so I select both the tracks and then I find synchronize and it then synchronizes the two audio tracks together okay so now they're all synchronized so I can then play what's on it comes to my mind about when I said about and you get audio, both audio tracks sound and I've never really gone over so what I do is I just mute the one that's on the camera and you're left with the one that's on the microphone how um, microphones you should be using I'm gonna show you two that are not really suitable but it'll give you so that's how it's done